Hi friends and welcome back to LCC Kids Online. My name is Wendy and I'm so glad that you're joining us this weekend. We're continuing in our study on the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All of the characters that character traits that make up who God really is and the things that he wants us to do in order to be more like him. And today we're learning all about self-control. Self-control means the ability to say no, even when we're tempted. You know, some people say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, as if an apple has the magical powers to keep us healthy. Well, I've got bad news for you. If an apple is the only healthy thing you eat, it's not gonna keep you healthy. You need a balanced diet of fruits, vegetables, grains, proteins, and all the things the body needs. And you need the self-control to say no to all the sugary sweets that are bad for you. You see, self-control is not easy. It means that we have to take responsibility for ourselves. We have to learn to say no to temptation, whether it's the temptation to sin or the temptation to have a triple fudge brownie topped with ice cream, hot fudge, sprinkles, and a cherry on top. Self-control is the fruit of the Spirit. The closer we are to Christ, the easier it is to say no to the bad things. Let's ask God to give us self-control so that we can be faithful to God and keep growing in the Lord. When Jehoiakim was the king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, went with his army to Judah. Because God's people had sinned against him, God allowed King Nebuchadnezzar to take over the city of Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar told one of his leaders to bring some of the people to Babylon. He wanted boys who were healthy, handsome, and good learners to serve in his palace. Every day, King Nebuchadnezzar gave the boys a special diet. They ate the same food and drank the same drinks that the king ate and drank. Four of the boys who came from Judah were different than the others. They worshiped the Lord, the one true God. Their names were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The man in charge of the boys gave them new Babylonian names. Daniel's new name was Belteshazzar. Hananiah's new name was Shadrach. Mishael's new name was Meshach and Azariah's new name was Abednego. Even though Daniel and his friends weren't in Judah anymore, Daniel still wanted to obey God. God's laws told Daniel what he could and could not eat. Daniel was not allowed to eat some of the food that the king gave the boys. Daniel asked the man in charge for permission to eat other foods, but the man in charge was afraid. If you don't eat the king's food, you won't be strong like the other young men. The king might get angry and kill me, he said. Daniel said, try this for 10 days. Let us only eat vegetables and drink only water. Then see if we are healthier than the other young men. The guard agreed. At the end of 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked healthier than the young men who had eaten the king's food. After that, the guard allowed Daniel and his friends to keep drinking water and eating vegetables. God was happy that Daniel obeyed him. God blessed Daniel and his friends. He made them wise and smart. They learned lots of new things. God gave Daniel the ability to understand visions and dreams. When their training was over, Daniel and his friends stood before the king. The king saw that they were smarter and stronger than all the other young men. They were even smarter than the wise men who worked for the king. Daniel served the king for many years. Daniel chose to obey God no matter what, and God blessed Daniel and his friends. In an even greater way, Jesus always obeyed God. He came to earth and followed God's plan to save sinners. Jesus never sinned, but he died the death we deserve. Jesus rose from the dead, and those who trust in him receive God's forgiveness and blessing. the spirit.
spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. You want to be a watermelon. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit's not a cherry. If you wanna be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You wanna be a grape? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness.